This is your sign to learn soldering. Circuit Mess was kind enough to send me their Nibble Kit, which is a retro gaming handheld kit that is accessible for anyone to use to learn how to solder. I'm super excited to crack into this thing, so let's get it unboxed. Circuit Mess also sent me a full complete model in case I mess up, so we're gonna have some Food Network magic by getting a nice look at what our goal is. This kit comes with everything you need, including the soldering iron, extra tips, solder, batteries, and all of the bits and bobs that make up the nibble. Now this won't really be a tutorial since they already have such a comprehensive guide, which I'll link in the description in case you're curious or if you've picked up one for yourself. It also has plenty of tips on soldering, which I relied heavily on because <laughs> I'm a bit of a klutz. Everything went super smoothly for me as I attached buttons and soldered. I had a few hiccups, but everything was going great. Then this happened. Yep, I soldered the screen on backwards. This was the moment where I got a little cocky riding the high of learning how to solder, and then I confidently soldered the screen onto the back. And let me tell you, desoldering is not as easy once you've soldered several pins together. I was too embarrassed to admit this directly to Circuit Mess because I know they sent me the second model in case I screwed this up, but I was determined to fix this. So I immediately went to Amazon to order some solder wicks, which helps soak up hot solder. And I also picked up a solder vacuum, which violently sucks up solder into its nozzle. These tools were suggested, but not mandatory in their instructions. Still, I was having a bit of trouble getting solder out from the spaces in the holes where the wire hadn't touched. Yet I had one more trick up my sleeve, flux. Flux is a liquid that has a high melting point and helps ignite solder quicker, so I was then able to finally work that solder out and get everything unstuck. I was able to finish the rest of the build no problem, and this is the final result. I would say it's pretty close to the model they sent me, other than a slight dark area where there was a lot of reheating going on from the mess up. The nibble works fantastic, and it's a nice little system that runs Python and has a wonderful built-in UI with some neat little arcade style games. But the best part, you can code your own games and Circuit Mess has their own modular style coding system named Circuit Blocks. I played around a bit with the software and pretty much immediately picked it up. I have some brief experience coding things from HTML to even a bit of Java and Python, but the blocks are such an accessible way to get people introduced to coding. Each node serves a purpose and is clearly labeled, and you can even use their video tutorials and test projects to get a better understanding of how these work. You can even see on the side the actual Python script that it's running and then make the move to coding directly from this side. I took one of their test programs, which was a rock, paper, scissors game, and made some modifying just to get some experience with circuit blocks without going off the deep end. You know that Big Bang Theory episode where Sheldon mentions rock, paper, scissors, lizard, Spock? Well, in about 30 minutes, I was able to put together a demo of this game by jumping off from the test game code. It was super fun and rewarding to see something I not only built from the ground up, to being able to code my own game. I think this is a perfect system that's accessible enough for all ages, but as well, perfectly suitable to introduce adults into skills that can seem very unapproachable and that are often, for the most part, gatekept. I can't wait to use these skills I learned on this project for some of my future videos and maybe revisit some older projects as well. If you want to try out the Nibble or anything else on the Circuit Mess website, I will have a link in the description and make sure you use code Boolean at checkout for 15% off. There's plenty of other skills and trades that Circuit Mess makes accessible so make sure and leave in the comments if there are any others I should check out. Let me know how I did. Did I make the ultimate recovery? And with that being said, I will see you in the next one.